hey y'all it's your girl Tishonda Renee I'm back with another video in today's video I have my mom in the kitchen with me and she's going to be sharing with me her recipe for zucchini squash casserole so if you're interested in seeing how she does it please stay tuned okay you want to definitely get started by cleaning your veggies uh, you may even want to use a soft brush to get the dirt off of the skin of the zucchini and squash. So the first thing she does for this recipe is dice up the zucchini and the squash. She used a total of three zucchini and three squash. And she just cut each squash and zucchini in half and then in half again and then just chopping it. It is best to chop it into small pieces for the casserole. Next, you wanna add your veggies to a pot of boiling water. Um, make sure you do salt the water. Also, you wanna be um, sure to add some butter to the pot of water. Um, she did use salted butter and she used about a tablespoon. And while the um, zucchini and squash are boiling, you wanna go ahead and dice up your onion. Next, you wanna go ahead and saute your onions with some butter. And I'll be sure to list all the ingredients and measurements down in the description box. So check that out if you're interested. And she allowed these to cook for about three to five minutes over a medium heat. Next, you want to start putting together your um, filling or the mixture um, of mayo and sour cream and cheese. You want to just add everything to a big bowl and uh, mix it well together. And again, uh, if you're interested in the exact measurements, check out the description box. And for the most part, this is a keto-friendly um, recipe. The last step in the recipe um, is where it stops being keto-friendly, but you can definitely make this without the last step. And um, yeah, it is a great, great recipe for the keto diet. Once your zucchini and squash are um, done, you want to go ahead and dump those into a colander and let that drain. Um, then you'll actually begin to mash the veggies a little bit to try to get some of that water out. And once you've done that, you want to go ahead and add your zucchini and squash to the mayo sour cream and cheese mixture once you have it all added to the bowl just mix it really well Next, you want to go ahead and add your 
your sauteed onions and mix those in really well. Also, if you would like to add any seasonings, this would be the time to add um, whatever seasonings of your choice. So she had added half of the squash and zucchini to the mixture, then the onions, and now you see her adding um, the second half of the veggies. The next step is to add your mixture to a baking dish and um, she did spray the dish down with a Pam spray. So if you're following the keto diet, this is going to be the second to last step for you. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and add this mixture to a preheated oven at um, about 375 degrees. And I know some folks don't eat onions with the keto diet. So if you're, if you're one of those um, folks that don't eat onions, don't add the onion to this recipe. It's still going to turn out delicious. And if you're not following the keto diet, um, the recipe does continue. So what you want to do is um, crumble up some saltine crackers. Um, she used about a half a pack of saltine crackers for this recipe. The next step is to add some butter to a skillet and then add your crackers. You're going to allow these to really just, um, not necessarily cook, but you want to get them all coated with the butter and just toast them up a little bit. The next step is to add um, the cracker topping to the casserole dish. And you can spread this out as evenly as you can. You can definitely add more or less of this topping if you desire. So the next step is to bake the casserole for about 30 minutes or until your cheese is done and it comes out looking something like this. Y'all, this is seriously so, so good. I never um, used to eat zucchini or squash before I started the keto diet and um when I was doing the keto diet, this was my substitute for baked macaroni and cheese. It is not macaroni and cheese, but it is a wonderful, wonderful substitute. This is seriously so delicious. Um, it is so good that even three years after I stopped doing the keto diet, I'm still eating it to this day. It is so, so good. Um, if you have not tried this recipe, 
I hope you do give it a try because I do believe you will really, really like it. Um, thanks so much for tuning into my video. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. And thanks again for tuning in. Have a great day.